Meet David. On the surface, he seems to have it all. A thriving business, a wonderful circle of friends, and a loving family. But there is one challenge he's facing. He's starting to lose his hair. Having witnessed his father's early baldness and noticing his younger brother's thinning locks, Jimmy knew the save was coming, and now he is at crossroads. Should he embrace his baldness or fight against it? In this video, we'll dive into what causes male pattern baldness. Male pattern baldness follows a distinct pattern. Most men start with a full head of hair, but as the pass, the first sign of balding appears, typically at the temples, gradually receding the hairline. Over the time, the crown also begins to thin, leading to bald patches that connect at the top of the scalp, leaving a ring of hair around the ears and back of the hair. In some cases, the hairline retreats all the way from the forehead to the crown. This type of hair loss is a medically known as androgenetic alopecia, the most common form of hair loss in men. Alopecia refers to hair loss, while androgenetic pertain to hormones like testosterone, while there are other hair loss types with different patterns, such as iron deficiency, which causes general thinning, but only a doctor or dermatologist can accurately diagnose the specific type by examining the hair loss pattern. So if you notice that you are losing your hair, before you panic, consult a doctor. So, what triggers this type of hair loss? Research shows that 81% of this hair loss is linked to genetics, with multiple genes from both sides of the family. On microscopic level, hair growth goes through distinct phases. The growth phase typically lasts 2 to 6 years, resulting in thick, strong hair. After this, Hair enters a resting phase for about 3 months before falling out and starting a cycle anew. For those predisposed to male pattern hair loss, hair follicles become overly sensitive to a testosterone derivative called DHT. This sensitivity shortens the growth phase, leading to thinner, shorter hair. There are many myths surrounding hair loss. One common misconception is that balding men have higher testosterone levels. In reality, both balding and non-balding men have similar testosterone levels. It's just that balding men convert more of it to DHT and have hair follicles that are more sensitive to it. Additionally, while anabolic steroids can indeed increase the risk of hair loss due to artificially boosting androgen levels, but sexual activities has no effect on hair loss. Male pattern baldness is very common. About 1 in 2 men in their 40s experience noticeable hair loss, and most men will see some level of baldness in their lifetime. However, the rate of hair loss varies widely. Some men start losing hair in their early 20s, while the lucky others maintain a full head well into their 60s. Interestingly, noticeable balding often occurs only after about half of the hair follicles have already been affected, so if you you think you're starting to go bald, you might already be healthy there. Hair loss is a natural part of aging, and while some men adapt easily to their new look, and even some women like them more than before, others may struggle with feelings of embarrassment or self-consciousness. This can lead to significant psychological effects, ranging from feelings of unattractiveness to depression. If you are one of them, fortunately, there are treatments available for you, and starting early can improve the chances of retaining your hair. If you'd like to learn more about hair loss treatment options, let me know in the comments which topics interest you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.